Is it going? Okay, all right, now we're on part two. Okay, so I turned it off just in case because I can't see where the little number things are. Okay, so we left off with Virgo and now we're on Libra. Woo! Super soul. Man, that's gorgeous. Love these. Okay. I reside in every heart. From me alone come remembrance, knowledge, and forgetfulness. I am to be known by all the Vedas. I am the author of the Vedan Vedanta, and I alone know the Vedas. Ooh. All right, so what does that mean? I feel like you're really moving in unity. That's what I feel like. And you didn't get here just by uh, accident. Okay, it was a lot of stuff you went through. Okay, and you were, and there were some moments there where you felt like you weren't going to be able to balance it all out and bring peace back to you. Um, but you did bring him back the illumination. And if you're not here, you will be soon. Okay. All right, so uh, the super soul. Okay, so they want me to rewind. This is the natural state. Okay, it's not anything you have to attain or achieve. This is your natural state. Okay, so, um, but sometimes when we go through some dense energy in this uh, physical reality, it can feel like we're something other than this super soul. Okay, so know that you're this. Okay, Libra? Okay, if you do not feel like it. All right, there's that. Okay, now we're moving on to Scorpio. Scorpio, lamp of knowledge. Okay, I'm picking up a lot of stuff here. Okay, so, um, first of all, I feel like you have a lot of knowledge, okay? Spiritually, it's I feel like you've tapped into something more than the rest of your family is what I'm picking up here. Okay, and you had foresight with, where others didn't in your tribe is what I'm picking up. Okay. Okay, so for some of you, okay, you've had a couple of wives, okay. All right, so that was all part of the experience, okay? And some of you are still with them, okay? That's all part of the experience, I feel like. Um, some people choose that because um, they have contracts to... Uh, have many children, but with that said... Uh, you come in with certain intentions with contracts like that, but make sure you, your partner or partners understand what it is you're creating. It's like communicating that which you desire, okay, to express in this physical reality, especially if you're married, so there aren't uh, big misunderstandings within the uh, uh, marriage, that's what I'm picking up. Okay. So, okay. So some of you have struggled, I feel like, okay, between your familial or family parents, okay, parents giving you input and what your inner being is suggesting. Okay. So with that said, I would kind of see if you could find the happy place between the two, right? Uh, listen uh, with compassion to the parent or parents and also somehow bringing that with harmonizing that uh, with the energy within. If not, I would just follow the inner guidance. That's what I would do. Okay. 
All right, so now let's do the Sanskrit here for people who can, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but. Okay. To those who are constantly devoted and worship me with love, I give the intelligence by which they can attain me. Out of compassion for them, dwelling in their hearts, I destroy the darkness of ignorance with the lamp of knowledge. Okay, so if you feel like you've hit density or darkness, right? Okay, as is the water energy sometimes can do, get in that moon energy, the depths of the ocean, right? The electric waters. So uh, in that case, go within, right? And... Uh, I would go within to the heart and sit with a heart, and that will light your world. Okay. Okay. Sagittarius. Beyond scripture. Yes, I love that. Love that idea. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so what they're suggesting to me is okay there are some kind of timeless passages in these old books right uh, that can help us through our growth uh, uh, years after years after years after years but if you tune into the energy within that collective energy the infinite intelligence that has the knowledge of all books ever written and our latest version of that what we are deciding as a collective what we want to move towards so as we tune in it doesn't mean don't read those books. Read all the books you want to read. But then take the time within to connect because then you'll get the latest version of that book. Whether it's the Bible, whether it's the Bhagavad Gita or whatever it is you're reading, right? Okay, so it's like going beyond the words that have been written. Okay, because if you're seeing it, it's already past tense. Okay. And I feel like Sagittarians naturally know this. It's like something instinctively in them. Okay, that's what I feel like. It's something that uh, I've seen through all the Sagittarians I've known. It's like something that they just innately know and move that way. Okay. Okay, whatever purposes are served by small pond are achieved by the great reservoirs of water. Similarly, all the purposes of the Vedas are accomplished by one who knows God. Yes, um, you know, God, source, whatever. It's that energy within that we tap into. That is the reservoir, the, the waterfall, right? The electric waters. Beautiful. Okay. Capricorn. Okay, 
Divine Descent. Woo! Okay, and it says, Whenever and wherever there is a decline of religious practice in the world and wickedness becomes predominant. Uh, let's don't say that. <laughs> I'm going to have to X out some of these with markers. Okay. In the past, uh, it was stated uh, by whoever created these cards or noticed. Okay, so maybe it's in these words. That's what I'm saying about uh, passages of the past that have been written, right? Uh, they're a little bit outdated in the wording. Okay, so. Um, so. I don't feel like religious practice... Uh, is uh, causes wickedness. I just feel like uh, choosing amnesia uh, becomes uh, like uh, forgetting uh, just is part of the process. Okay, because for example, like when we come into this reality, there is a wash. I remember several past lives, but I don't necessarily remember all of them okay it's something like that so when that happens of course there's going to be a forgetting and that happens so that we can experience uh this reality as a newborn right uh clear canvas okay so um sometimes we get into things due to that okay so uh, there's no judgment there Okay, so the key is, is to uh, remember to go within and tune into that energy through silence. Okay, so by doing that often, if not every day, then uh, we are led to green pastures. Okay, so um, let's get out of this kind of uh, talk here. I don't want to even say it. In order to deliver the pious and to annihilate the... See, this wording is... <laughs> okay, let's don't use annihilate. Okay, that seems uh, assertive there. Super assertive. Okay. Okay, but I like this part. We can reestablish the sacred law. That means moving into the latest version of that and I appear in every age. Okay, so it's like um, we get that timeless version of uh, pure energy that has been written. Okay, Whew, that was like a rewrite there. <laughs> Okay, but uh, so, but anyway, I feel like Pluto came in to assist you all, so there we go. Okay, and now mm -hmm, you have that Venus energy that is really going to rev up your lovey doveys. <laughs> okay, uh, if you so choose it. Okay, Aquarius. Okay. Okay. All right, so it says, bewildered spirit souls under the influence of three modes of material nature think themselves to be a doer of activities which are in, actu in actuality carried out by nature. Okay, so, interesting. Okay, so, uh... Wow, this is a water bearer too. Look at that. Okay, so what I'm getting here is, okay, think of a circle, swirling circle, right? Okay, so that's uh, the emanation of energy, okay, in the one energy. So what's before the one, the zero? Okay, so then in the one energy, it can uh, look like it's splitting up. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, for some if you're a Christian, 
Okay, so Father, Son, Holy Spirit. But it's all emanating from one place. Okay, so uh, as you look into your family dynamic, okay, and uh, it's like I feel like a sense of you wanting to prove to your family this way that you see yourself. Okay, but that is a, in a way false. Why? Because these are also emanations from the same place. So it's like saying, okay, God is doing that to me. Okay, so it's like, it's almost like victim energy, but it's like, I don't know how to put it in words, Spirit. Hold on a second. Okay, it's like um, people are doing things to you is what I'm picking up here. That's what you've, in the past, we're not saying in the future, but in the past you felt like that. Okay, so that's like not seeing these other emanations as that pure source. Okay, so take a look into that. The other thing I'm picking up here is worrying about the outside appearance more than what's going on in the inside. And there's something that has to do with community here. Okay. Okay, so uh, so now I'm moving back into kind of like this energy of, um, okay, look out for looking. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Ah! Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so this is a thing. Okay, so for example, if you need validation from the outside world, then that becomes that could become an addiction, right? Okay, so uh, okay, so okay, and what? Hold on. I would spend less time worrying about what other people are saying or thinking and looking at you, right? Okay. Uh, I would not put that into the equation because that could be a source uh, up ahead that could uh, be problematic. Okay. So just feel your self-worth now. That came up in the Taurus reading. Yeah. Okay. So just feel your self-worth now. Okay, and know who you are and and also do your best that you can to see other aspects as uh, receiving that pure source also. And in that way, I feel like you will have a successful holiday season. Also, if you're married or have a partner, um, I would worry about more what's on the inside than what's on the outside, not being so critical of, um, uh, things. Okay. So the key is to align your ego to a healthy ego because we need ego, right? To, uh, be successful even, right? In the things that we're trying to achieve. Okay, so uh, the key is to make sure you move, move in uh, humbleness and, uh, and that it's not puffed up, right? That it's just the natural, healthy ego that's emanating. Okay. Okay, and so if you feel like you don't know what I'm talking about, a lot of times, if you just walk out in nature and watch nature for like 30 minutes, that can be inspiration for you and your energy. That'll help you return to the natural you and you won't even have to think your mind through it all. Just go out in nature, go to the beach, go to the, you know, uh, out in the park, you know, just get out in nature, right? Okay, hug a tree. Okay, all right. Uh, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Next card. Leadership. Ooh. 
Looks like you're with the earth signs. Maybe you have earth energy. Oh, okay. So if you're a Pisces and you've been in Virgo energy, look at the positive aspects of Virgo and move with that, right? And uh, you might, if you're doing shadow work, you might even look at the negative aspects of Virgo and bring that into alignment within your own energy because that's your polar opposite. So if you're uh, swirling around over there, you may want to swing back to uh, the Pisces, your own energy, right? Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, it, which... Okay, so if you got into some entanglements, you might have been swinging that way to bring also your dreams into this reality. Okay, so it's okay. Just move with the positive aspects of earth energy and water energy. Okay, um, that's the suggestion here for uh, leadership. Okay, and uh, a lot of you are have, are leaders and uh, in the, the fields that you are in. Okay, and I feel like people look at you because you are uniquely doing something that is different than the others, the rest, the masses. I like this, this image here. Look at the head, right? It's like spirit energy coming into the crown. Okay, and then you have like that trine there. Okay, and it's like charging your magical wand here. <laughs> so you all have dreamed up uh, all kinds of amazing things, and you're getting ready. This is feels like Six of Wands energy to me. Yeah, and um, with the Four of Wands too, it's like it's like okay. So that's the holidays. So I feel like there's going to be some fun things up ahead. Okay, so uh, move in your loving light. Okay, all right. Whatever a great man does, uh, it says uh, men follow. And whatever standards he sets um, by exemplary acts, all the world pursues. Okay, so I feel like you're... you're you might be even in uh, harnessing that Uranus energy is what I'm picking up. Okay, so some of you might be cusping Aquarius, okay, is what I'm getting now. Okay, because that's what this energy feels like here. Okay, so that uh, doing things differently. Uh, it's like the wild card, I said. Uh, it's like doing something that... Mark going into territory that no man has gone in that kind of energy. And, um, it's like, there's more, there's more a ped. So get ready. Okay. I'll leave you with that Pisces. Thank you.